Hey Simmerays, be right here with another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Not So Berry Challenge. So I am so excited to tell you guys about a collaboration that I have done with Lumi Sims, or I do believe her YouTube name is Lumi Edits. Uh, she created a very gorgeous photo of Sage from our Knott's Berry Challenge, um, and she has included the speed edit for it on her channel. So I will link that in the description down below. I am absolutely in love with the picture that she made, and I love being able to see her actual process for creating it. So I hope that you'll check her out and look at some of her other videos because I am absolutely obsessed with her channel. I don't know how she like does not have more subscribers. So I hope that you guys will check her out. So on to the episode. So in the last episode, we were kind of left with a cliffhanger. Was Sage gonna go to the party with Alice or was she gonna stay home and just kind of rest up for the day? So I don't think you guys will be shocked that she decided to actually go out um, to enjoy a party at the bluffs and it's flipping raining. <laughs> and it, I mean like, it's not just raining, it's pouring. like cats and dogs it is ridiculous <laughs> sage is running for her life trying to find shelter and there is no shelter so she is just running like crazy <laughs> um so i do think that <laughs> her and alice are gonna have to find something else to do because there is no way that this rave is going to happen at the bluffs tonight um, and Sage is looking particularly pissed off. <laughs> so I think we're going to try and find something better to do. And I'll see you guys when we figure that out. So the ladies ended up deciding to go get something to eat in Oasis Springs. And there was a new restaurant that popped up that actually um, they knocked down the gym that Don used to work at to build this restaurant. So <laughs> Sage has been dying to try it out. Um, so she's just hanging out with Alice and telling her a little bit about like what's going on with her, checking in with Alice, like seeing what's new. And of course, Sage is complaining about her love life because it's tragic and messed up <laughs> and her and her and Alice are not sure like what they're doing um her and Don are obviously over so she's just like a little frustrated and confused by her love life um but I do want to order for the table and since Sage is a materialistic sim I think she would order the best of the best wine um and this is a experimental restaurant, so they have all experimental dishes from the uh, Dine Out pack. Um, so I think Sage is going to order like the most expensive thing on the menu, and Alice is going to order this uh, chef's special. Um, so that brings our bill to 131 simoleons. A little pricey, but not terrible. Um, and Sage, being the sociable sim that she is, has decided to kind of get to know um, her table neighbor, <laughs> so she's talking to her as well, um, but I do want her to just uh, talk with Alice a little bit, discuss her interests, um, and Sage is like, she's disappointed because they had a lame time out, she is in need of some serious amusement. Um, but she is enjoying the atmosphere because it is a, f a flirty or I think, yeah, a flirty location. Um, and she's also enjoying the warm surroundings because there's like, um, the space heaters for outside, which you're in Oasis Springs, so I'm not really sure why you would need that, but <laughs> it's there nonetheless. Um, oh, look at this ambient lighting. Like, oh, this is so, like, this is seriously romantic. So I'm going to have her go ahead and compliment Alice's outfit, and my game is seriously lagging. Aww. <laughs> dag, dag. <laughs> For whatever reason, Alice is waving to her. Um, this foundation is like messing with my ability to like pan around, but um, we're just gonna go ahead and talk for a little bit and have a good evening. There aren't any objectives, they're just out. They're not on a date, they're out together enjoying dinner. Um, but I do think that she's going to go ahead. Oh, my driving is terrible. I do think she's going to go ahead and tell, um, Alice about finding the twins at home. Like 
and Don not there, or like, well, it wasn't just the twins. It was her three children. I keep like not including Ezra because I'm so used to saying the twins, but Ezra aged up. Um, but she's just like filling Allison on the fact that Don requested extra time, like with the kids during her visitation schedule. And she like graciously gave it to him only to find out that he left their underage children home alone with no supervision when she could have spent that time like with her children. Um, I do want to have Sage take a photo of this food and learn how to make the experimental dish. Um, and I think that Alice is like kind of shocked by that news. Like, um, <laughs> she's just like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, why would he ask for extra, extra time and then just not be there? Like, that's time you could have spent with your kids. Like, is he purposely, like, trying to <laughs> sabotage the time that you have to spend with your children? Or, like, did something happen? Like, I, I don't understand, like, why, why he would do that to you. Um, you know, and Sage is kind of at a loss, too. She, like, she doesn't necessarily think it was, like, malicious, but at the same time, she is frustrated with the fact that, like, that's time she could have spent with her kids, but wasn't able to because, you know, he asked for extra time. So I do think that Sage is <laughs> really going to look to have a conversation with Don about what the flip is going on um, and determine, like, if this visitation schedule is the right solution for, like, their family situation. So, I just want Sage and Alice to enjoy the rest of their meal together, and I think that I will see you guys back at the house. So it's the next morning and Sage is um, going to work and I'm just going to send her alone for her day um, and then we'll pick up after work because I do want Sage to get together with Don to discuss like the fact that the kids were home alone during her visitation time. So Sage just got back from work and she made... Um, 1,278 simoleons for her um, efforts with work. Um, so I do want her to just kind of take care of her needs for a little bit. So I am going to have her um, go to the bathroom and um, maybe we'll like watch a cooking channel. And then I guess since she's hungry, her and, and Don can meet up for like a bite to eat. Um, so Sage just got a text from Alice asking her if she wants to go out on a date, but I think we are going to go ahead and um, decline because it is really important that she has a conversation with Don about, you know, everything that's going on. Oh no, and it looks like, oh, our plant died. Well, that stinks. <laughs> I think she was taking pretty good care of it too, but we'll worry about that later. Um... So I just want to see, make sure her fun meter like goes up. We'll have her change into just like something comfy. And then we'll go to meet Don in a little bit. Sage just got to the Lake District restaurant and she's here meeting Don to discuss, you know, their children and their custody agreement. Um, and she's here a little bit earlier than Don. Uh, she is meeting him in Willow Creek because he's actually working with a client. And we're going to have him order water because <laughs> he doesn't drink. Um, he was meeting a client in Willow Creek and he couldn't make it back to Oasis Springs in time for a reasonable dinner hour. So uh, Sage decided to travel out to Willow Creek to meet him for for dinner and to have the discussion about their children. So I think she's going to go ahead and order the lobster thermidor and um, let's have Don go ahead and order the grilled chicken because he's a clean eater as well as the fact that he doesn't drink. Um, so yeah, we're just going to wait for Don and hopefully <laughs> he'll show up pretty soon. Mm. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm.
she's just checking her messages to make sure that, you know, he's able to meet her here still because it's getting a little late and she's curious why he is not here yet. So the waiter is just checking on Sage to see if she needs anything. We're still waiting for our food and we're still waiting for Dawn to show up. <laughs> she is not uh, too thrilled with the fact that he's not here. Uh, she's been here for like well over an hour. You know, she put off ordering her food and he he's still not here. And she does not understand like what is going on with him right now. So the food has just arrived and lo and behold, um, Don is not here. <laughs> oh, look, there he is. He just showed up. Fantastic. <laughs> so it's almost midnight, which uh, we kind of attest to the fact that it's The Sims and everything takes forever. Um, so Sage is going to like yell at him for being late because it's just like plain rude. She is not having his crap right now. She is like, first of all, like, you took my time with my children. Now you're wasting my time after work, which when you think about it, both of us are not having time with our children. She's going to go ahead and lay into him about his parenting right now. She is so fed up with his crap. Um, Learn a pee from Skuma. <laughs> She is not a happy camper, and I can't say that I blame her right now. Oh, and Don is just like, I am like, I have a lot of things on my plate. I'm starting this new business, and you have to understand that it's not easy being the primary caretaker, and I have so many things on my plate, and I don't think you appreciate anything that I do. And Sage is like, not, not interested, like... I'm bored in your sob stories. You told like the mediator that you wanted primary custody. You begged for it. I gave it to you and now I'm regretting it. And I think that we might need to revisit this whole custody agreement situation. And Don's like, whatever, Sage, you can do what you want. But at the end of the day, we both know who's the better parent and who the judge is going to favor. At the end of the day, I will always do a better job than you. So I do think that Sage is like, <laughs> she is ready to call this meal over. All right, Simrays, I think this is the perfect place to leave off for today. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big fat thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, hit that bell. As always, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!